So let's start by creating an Azure account and you can find a link to this page in the show notes below the video. We're going to click on start for free and you're going to need to sign in with a Microsoft account. If you don't have one yet, there's also a link to a resource about how to create one. And then we're going to fill this form with our personal details and click on next. And the next step will be to include a credit card. And don't worry about this step. Microsoft won't charge for anything that you don't use. So if you follow these steps in this tutorial and always delete the resources after testing them, you'll never pay a dime. So once this form is filled, just click on sign up and you're going to be taken to a page where you see a button, go to Azure portal. You can click on that and you will see the Azure dashboard. On this dashboard, you have an overview of all of your resources on Azure. Right now, we don't have any, so our list is empty. So the next step will be to create a Blazor application on Visual Studio. And in this demonstration, I'm going to use Blazor, but the process would be the same for an MVC or a Razor Pages application. So if you already have a project ready to be published, you can skip this part and go directly to the publishing section. Just keep in mind that in this tutorial, we are not demonstrating how to publish an app with a database. That's going to be my next tutorial. But let's continue. On the next prompt, search for Blazor WebAssembly app and you can give this project any name you want. I'm going to use Blazor Azure Test and this project is going to live in my study projects folder. In the additional information prompt, I'll just keep the default options. Once the project is created, let's test it straight away by clicking on the green play button. And you can just click yes if you see a prompt about SSL certificates. And once the process is complete, this is our result. A functioning Blazor page that has a sidebar, a simple counter and some weather forecast data. So everything works. Let's see how we're going to publish it to Azure. In the Solution Explorer, right click on the project's name and choose Publish. Then choose Azure, which is the first option, and then Azure App Service, Windows. And this is an HTTP-based service that we use to publish web apps, REST APIs, and mobile backends. And this is not just for C Sharp and .NET. You can publish apps written in other languages, such as Java, PHP, Ruby, Python, and Node.js. So once you choose to publish as an app service, you're going to be prompted to log into Visual Studio with your Microsoft account. And you can see that we have a subscription associated with our new account. And that's called Azure Subscription 1. And in Azure, you can think of a subscription as a container that will hold all of our resources. So if we go back to the portal, and click on the subscriptions icon, we will see our subscription. And if you click on it, you can see its details. Back on Visual Studio, there's a message saying that there are no instances of app services associated with this subscription. So let's create a new instance. And here we can see that we need to create a resource group and a hosting plan. And these aren't really important for us right now since we are only interested in publishing a standalone app. But in a situation where you would have multiple apps, such as in enterprise development, resource groups and hosting plans are very useful to maintain everything organized. And you can give these resources different levels of access. So these are extremely useful for the administration of resources. But here we can just keep the suggested names and click on create. Then you see the resource that was created and you can click on finish and that will create a published profile and that's a file that contains information to deploy apps and services to Azure. So you can just close that and then click on publish and you can follow the progress of the deployment in the output window and if everything works you're going to see this publish succeeded message and a browser will open with your website loaded and that's it your website is live our counter is working and we can see the data about the weather. Now, very important, if you don't want to pay anything for your apps, and that's especially important when we publish a database, we have to delete our resource. So let's go back to the portal and click on resource groups. Then on the list of resource groups on the left, we're gonna see the one that we just created. You can click on it and then click on delete resource group. 
And since this is an operation that can do a lot of damage, you're gonna have to copy the name of the resource group into this field, just to make sure you're not deleting anything by accident. And we can see here the resources that are being deleted, that are associated with this resource group. And those are the app service and the app service plan. And that's a quick way to clean things up and delete everything in one go. And that's it. Once the deletion is successful, everything is cleared and you won't have to pay anything. And even if one day you want to publish an application for people to use, the price will depend on the usage. So you pay more as your app is used more and it scales automatically. Of course, you can set a limit so you don't get surprised in case your app grows very popular. But the whole thing is very easy to scale. So I highly recommend Azure to host web apps. So that's it. Don't forget to check the links below. There are several resources with more detailed information where you can dive deeper into these subjects. And don't forget to subscribe. We are always publishing new tutorials. See you next time.